Hello, Nuri girl. Hey, you're on the couch. Right, let's do this. Let's do a perfume haul. <laughs> so the first one that I have is Libre, Libre, I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. I'm going to probably butcher half of these ones, but from YSL. I have had the original one in the big bottle before and I absolutely loved it. Um, but I do try and buy the smaller ones these days just because I have so many perfumes that I just don't seem to get through them all. But I'm pretty sure I brought this one duty free at the New Zealand airport. Um, just give me one second. Moni's just knocking on the back door. I'll be back. So Moni's back inside now. So sorry if you can hear her panting, but yes, I absolutely love these ones. I don't think, oh yeah, this one is just the Oda. I'm so blind as well. Oda Puff, um, the, I don't know. I literally can't remember, but they're all just similar to the original one, but that's the original one. But there's one that's, um, a little bit stronger, which I believe is this one, one that's a little bit more florally um, and fruity and a really light one. Yeah, so they're so this one's the stronger one. So this would be really great for nighttime, but I love them. They're kind of that, I would say that deeper, like Gourmanti sort of scent. They're really nice. So if you haven't tried it, definitely get onto that one. The next one that I can see is her beautiful Kalina, Carolina Herrera. Um, this one is just, I only started, when did I buy it? Maybe the start of this year, but it is quickly becoming a signature scent for me. I love it for nighttime. Again, it's kind of, I don't know, it's like, to me, it's what I would explain as like a gourmand scent, but it's kind of like musky, but caramelly. It's just beautiful. It's so nice. So I definitely recommend it. This is, I believe, the original one. So the dark blue shoe. It's actually the only one that I kind of really like. But um, if you're somewhere where you can go and smell it, definitely go and smell it. My next one is Tom Ford, the Oud Fleur. So it's just the 50 mil. This is a, um, I would say like a versatile scent in like unisex. So men and female but it's so nice. It's very um, like that oud, like woody sort of flavor, I would say, or scent, not flavor, who calls it that? Um, but I love wearing this one at nighttime too. It's really subtle. I wouldn't say that the Tom Ford perfumes myself for the price of them stay on very well, but they are just beautiful, like decadent scents. I really love their cherry one as well. It is just divine. This is one that I've actually gotten so many compliments on this year and it's just a Zara one. And I literally had someone at my workplace, um, two of the students actually asked me what I was wearing. One of the teachers asked me what I was wearing. And then I was in a tile shop choosing the tiles for my house. And I had to go back after I'd been there to um, do something for them. And the girl on the front desk was literally like, oh my gosh, I was hoping you were going to come back in because I wanted to ask you what you were wearing. And this was it. So it's called Nobody Knows from Zara. I can't tell you like the notes of it, but it's kind of coconutty floral, I would say, with a little bit of musk. Like I definitely get that sort of coconut um, undertone and it is just beautiful. Like I said, I've literally had people like chase me down for it. <laughs> the next one is just an oldie. Um, I love wearing kind of any of the Juicy Couture ones. I normally would wear, used to wear these ones to work because I'm an over sprayer for sure. I just like drown myself in my perfume. So I like to get something like these ones for work where they're sweet, but they're also not like over the top when you're working with people as well and working with clients when you're in their face. But also because of the price of them, like I can drown myself in it and I'm not going to feel bad about it. Unlike the Tom Ford one, which I use sparingly. So this is the, the Viva La Juicy. So it's beautiful. It's sweet. Like I said, it's non-offensive. It's a lovely little scent. What do we have in here? This was one that I used for quite a while and I don't use it as much now. Um, so many people, again, I put them onto this as well. I think even my sister-in-law, my brother brought it for her too. But it's the Rihanna one. And what is this one called? Um, 
Rebel Fleur maybe, but you have to get the one with the black lining on it. I think there's one with a red one and like a cream color one, but the black one is the best. Again, it's kind of like a like a deeper, like vanilla-y, but floral sort of scent. I don't know. Um, it's, it's so beautiful. Again, I love to wear this to one to work, but I get so many people comp compliment me on this. It's always funny. It's usually like the cheaper ones that people compliment you on. Um, I have quite a few Zara perfumes in this haul. So this one is um, Perpetual Oud by Zara. And it's just exactly, it's like a, um, it's delicious. It's like something that you'd want to eat. Like it's got that like smoky, oody sort of undertone. But it also makes me kind of like golden syrupy like sort of vibes. It's so good. I love to wear this one at nighttime. It's one of my newer ones, but I did have it in the small one and I've gone back and brought the big one because I really love it. Again, Zara's perfumes, their price is just kind of unmatched for what they are. They're just beautiful. Um, what is, so this is the Red Temptations from Zara, which is like the dupe of um, Baccarat Rouge. And I like Baccarat Rouge, but I don't think it personally deserves the hype that it gets. I know lots of people have worn it um, and it's probably, I don't mean this in a horrible way, but it's probably some of that that's kind of like ruined it for me. I just don't, I just don't love it. I like this one because it's a bit sweeter than what the normal Baccarat Rouge is. But for me, Baccarat Rouge just isn't, it just isn't my vibe. But if you like that, but again, you want something maybe more on the sweeter side or something that's just still a little bit different, definitely get the Red Temptation because it is lovely. It is really nice, but it's just not as strong or like I said, maybe as like deep and smoky as Baccarat Rouge is. Um, this one is Power from Delta Goodrum. This is one where like, it smells quite nice in the bottle and I brought it, it was a blind buy. I brought it because the notes were like coconut and something else, but I don't know, when it's on your skin, I don't love the smell of it. And I literally also can't smell it after like three minutes. So again, it's probably one that I would just maybe put in my like guest bathroom that people can use while they're here. Because like I said, it's not an offensive smell by any means, but it just doesn't have great lasting power and I like to smell good all day. <laughs> Um, another one that I've used for a long time, I used to use this years ago when I worked at David Jones. I used to be a makeup artist for Napoleon Purtis and the um, perfume counter was right next to me. So this Roberto um, Cavalli, uh, it's, I only like this one as well. The um, I don't know, again, it doesn't have the name of it on it, but it's the orangey yellow colored liquid. This is another like, great daytime one it's i don't know like i said i go for everything that kind of smells really like delicious like that you want to eat it sort of smelling like food sort of vibes so again this one's kind of like reminds me of like golden syrup like lollies that type of thing like it's a bit deeper than lollies if that's why i was saying like the golden syrup like the color of it but it's really good i definitely recommend another one i think you could wear this one at night time too because it does have that sort of deeper tone to it um like it's quite i would say like it's probably like the nighttime version of this, to be honest, I would say. Like I'd wear this during the day and then you could layer it with this one to go out at nighttime. I think that would be so beautiful. Another one, this is one that I also don't like reach for a lot, but I do really like the smell of it. I don't know, it's just not something that, I think it has like a specific vibe of where you'd have to wear it, but it's the Marc Jacobs Decadence. I don't even know if you can get this one anymore, um, but it's, it's beautiful. It's like, it has more of a powdery sort of undertone to it, but it's definitely nighttime vibes. Like it's not, I have like put a bit of a, a little bit of a chunk in it, but yeah, it's probably not something that I'd wear during the day. But again, it's kind of like that musky, that musky sort of baby powdery smell. And it is beautiful. But again, I feel like I have to like go to the right place and be in like the right outfit for it. But I absolutely freaking love that it's, oh, even though it's, you can't hold it like that, but it's like a little handbag. Like how gorgeous is that? And I'm a sucker for packaging, like put some glitter on it and it's mine. It's all mine. <coughs> um, I love the Brazilian um, crush 
fragrances. So these are just double ups because I wear them all the time and I love layering them. So I put these ones on my skin first as the body mist and then put my perfume on top of it. So my favorite ones are number 71 and 62. So 62 I'd say is the original one. So it's the pistachio salted caramel um, flavor and it is it's delicious it's so nice but I really love the 71 which is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia again this one's probably more sorry if I keep doing that like I've got like you know like when you get like a little bit of hair stuck in your makeup oh my goodness it's so annoying but anyway this is probably the nighttime um sort of scent whereas 62 is probably nicer for during the day but I love pairing them up with my other favorite um favor favorite fragrances um makes them last a little bit longer and again it kind of gives them that real like yummy sweet undertone they are just divine um i know I, I don't even know how much they are these days i feel like the smaller ones aren't too bad i feel like the bigger bottle is like 52 dollars or something like that but i only get the smaller ones because i can't fit the big bottle in my handbag and i like to take these things with me so i only get like the sort of smaller like travel size ones so another Zara one, which is another one of my absolute favorites. I've had so many people compliment me on this one. And this is the one that for me is a dupe of the original, um, this one, the Libre, however you say it. Like someone please correct me because I'm definitely not saying it right. But again, I feel like this one is even maybe like just that little bit sweeter than what that one is. But this is called the Zara um, Golden Decade. So definitely go and get your hands on this. It is so nice. One of my friends, when I got into her car one time, she was like, Kate, what is that? So I definitely let her use it. But oh my goodness, it is just so delicious. And I know she'll be watching this. So Ashley, this was you. This was your one. You should definitely go and get it but I just love the smell of it. This like paired with the 71 is just magical, magical. What else do we have? Um, I have just like an original good old classic. So Coco Mademoiselle. There's not too many Chanel perfumes that I love, but Mademoiselle is definitely one of them. I love this to me just kind of gives me like rich vibes. I don't know, but whenever I go to the Langham for dinner, I always wear Coco. I just love it. Um, this one is the Eau de Toilette because with my, sorry, just like a side note here. If you ever see me kind of like breathing a bit funny like that, it's actually because I have asthma and I do um, like I'm on steroids for it all the time. So my asthma is never great. And there's some perfumes that just really set me off and set my asthma off. So I just can't wear them. Um, so some of the Chanel perfumes do do that for me, but this one doesn't. And I don't, like I said, I always get this one in the um, Eau de Toilette, not the Parfum, because I do find that um, Parfums or perfumes, the stronger ones, set me off a little bit more as well. But this one is super light and it's really beautiful. I think it's like a classic feminine sort of scent. And I think any girl loves getting something with a little bit of the cocoa on it. So I highly enjoy that. My other Chanel perfume that I love is in the same range as this one because this one is just cocoa. So this one is an order toilet as well, but it has to be the one with the black lid and the black label. This one is just, again, like a deeper scent. So this would be like my daytime um, Chanel and this one would be my nighttime. So this is, I have I've had a couple of bottles of this. My mum usually buys me this one if um, like she goes over sit, like to New Zealand or whatever and comes back. But I absolutely love this one. So yeah, those are the only two Chanel's that I really enjoy. <laughs> um, what else have we got? This is gonna be a bit of an odd one, but um, one million, like I know this is the man's one, but honestly, as like a unisex fragrance on a female, which I quite like doing, I'm quite like wearing like men's fragrances as well um, because they have that kind of like deeper smell to them. Like, yes, this one is like light and fresh, but you can probably tell from my other collection that I've shown you so far, I really like those like deep, like oud, like, like I said, like, I don't know, like caramelly sort of flavors um, in my perfumes. And this totally gives that. And it actually smells really nice on a female. So um, if you're looking for something new, like just go to one of the shops and just try it on yourself and see how you feel for the rest of the day. But I really like that one too. 
I also love, um, I'm not even gonna pretend that I can pronounce this, but it's Mason Francis. Can't pronounce the rest of it, but this one is the Oud Satin Moo. So this is the same one, this is the same brand that um, Baccarat Rouge is from, but I rate this so much over Baccarat Rouge. Like it is just so beautiful. And it's like a really like, I'd say like an addicting sort of scent because again, it's that really like yummy, like caramely sort of flavor once it drives down on the skin, drives down on the skin. But it has that kind of also like musky, like baby baby powdery scent to it too. But it's just divine. I really love it. So um, if you're in the mood for something that's on, you know, the more pricey side or you'd like someone to buy you a gift for it, I'd definitely try out the Oud Satin Mood. Um, beautiful. So delicious. Love it. And again, probably more of a nighttime scent as well. So some oh this is another zara one this is i think this was one of the ones that they did with um what was it i think this might have been one of the ones that they did with the joe malone i can't remember but it's called yeah i think it was magnificently dubai and again it's kind of an oody what does it say here from sunrise to sunset something in adventure yeah i can't read that word but hello Money's just here. Um, but it's like a oud sort of smell, but I'd say this is a more daytime oud. It's not as deep. It's quite sweet and fresh, but it's really beautiful as well. I actually did buy this one for my brother a few Christmases ago. And again, it's kind of like a unisex smell. So I had to get it for myself because it is delicious. Um, I do also just have like as another layering scent from the body shop, just the vanilla mist, because you can't go wrong with a bit of vanilla. And again, like this is always really nice to just layer under anything or if I want a smell that's not super strong or super offensive. So some of my last little ones that I have here are just single like spray on ones because I like to keep them in my um, purse and my wallet as well. Um, and these are ones that I think I would like to get in the bigger size, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So um, Kayali, I love Kayali. This is Huda Beauty's brand. I have had some of these ones before in the bigger ones, but I do just need to get them again. I just haven't. This one is called, this one's Pink Pepper, and this is the Vanilla Cocoa. Oh my goodness. These are so divine, honestly. Um, these are little roll-on ones. I got my mum the big one for Christmas last year. And again, this is just like a daily for me. I can wear this every single day and I absolutely love it. So this is Burning Cherry from Kayali. This is a, I would say a dupe for uh, the Tom Ford cherry one. It's probably a bit sweeter, I would say, than the Tom Ford one but I love them both equally. This is obviously just a way better price point than the Tom Ford one is. But if you like that sort of sweet cherry scent, which to me is just like so delicious, so gourmand, it's beautiful. Definitely try out Burning Cherry from Kayali. I love wearing this in the day and at night. And whenever I wear it, people always do compliment it on too. When I was in the, um, the mood for Red, <laughs> Red Temptation, I got a little roller ball as well. Because like I said, I like to keep these easily in my handbag. They're great for when you go out at night time. This one was, oh, this is the, the Coco Vanilla Kayali one as well. Just a little bit of a bigger one. Got to have multiple of these things because these are quite cheap from um, Mecca Sephora. I think it's Sephora that sells Kayali, but I love that one. This is actually a, um, what is this called? Is it, is it Glass House? I don't know. Is it Glass House? More, not Glass House. Oh my goodness. They sell candles too, but more. This is the perfume oil, but it's the lychee flower. This one is so beautiful. I love the lychee flower and I love the marshmallow one as well. So like, as you can tell, I'm probably into like, I love the roller balls because they're so easy to carry around with you. And I like the sort of oil on the skin. I feel like that you can really smell it a lot better. Um, also, if you're wanting to layer too, I like to layer with a roller ball first and then spray on top of it. But this one I'd highly suggest too for an everyday scent. It's just beautiful. So lychee flower or the marshmallow one. And then another one of my favorites, which I'd need to get some more of these because I have tried a few of the other 
scents and I, can, I can't remember the name of them one's rose um there was like four of them that i tried and they were all just delicious so maybe while i'm away um on holiday it might be something that i pick up if i see it somewhere but this is the ellis brooklyn the b one again it's kind of like a coke i don't know coconut but like that caramelly honey sort of scent and it's just beautiful it is a little bit different i would say it's not like your typical I don't think you pick it up and instantly go, oh my goodness, I love it. I definitely think it's one that you have to smell a few times and you have to put on your skin and wear, but it is still very sweet and honey-like and just beautiful. So I definitely love that. I think you should definitely try it if you're into that um, sort of scent. So I also have just this little one, which is another Delta Goodrum one called Dream. Again, like I said, similar to the um, juicy one. I like to have these ones just in my collection just to wear to work basically so that I'm not using all of my really good ones when I go out or when I go to work. But again, this one's kind of, I don't know, like a non-offensive coconutty, um, yeah, I'd say coconutty, coconut like floral scent. Again, I don't feel like it lasts on your skin super long, but it's really nice. I think it would be really good if you've got like a young teen or a young young adult who's starting to get into perfume. Definitely great for that. And then what do we have left? Oh, so my number one perfume, my holy grail perfume. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite one. And like I let my, one of my girlfriends wore it on her wedding day. I just love it. It is a more pricier one, um, but it's something that I love. And I actually brought my brought it for myself for my 30th birthday. So this is the Louis Vuitton. I can't pronounce this one either. At a grape raves. I don't know. There you go. You can you can see it for yourself. That's her. And I got my little initials engraved there. Oh, but it is just, it just gives me so many good memories because I just, oh, I just love it. I can't even explain the smell to you. It's so beautiful. It's sweet. It's actually sweet as in like, it's not as deep or oody as some of my other perfumes, but it's sweet. It's fruity. It's quite light. It's really beautiful, but it's actually one of the only ones in the Louis Vuitton collection that I do like. It did take me a while to find this one and find the one that I would like to wear all the time because some of them I find are a bit um, either too masculine or I find that Louis Vuitton kind of leans towards that really fresh, like clean girl sort of smell, which as you can tell from my collection, isn't me. I like something that is either like a bit deeper, a bit more caramelly, musky, um, or that fruity sort of smell. So I love this. So if you're in a Louis Vuitton or if you're in the um, market to spoil yourself, definitely go and try this one and pick it up. I also believe that with these ones, you um, you don't have to like buy a whole new bottle next time. You just get a refill. So that's not me selling it to you because it's cheaper next time, but it is a bit cheaper than obviously just repurchasing the whole bottle again because you can just get it refilled. But other than that, I think that's pretty much all of them for the moment because I did have a really big clean out before I moved to because I just had so many and it's honestly what I really enjoy spending my money on other than clothes. So uh, yeah, but if there's any perfumes that you'd like me to try, please let me know because I'm always willing to add new ones to my kit. There is a new one out at the moment that I would like to get um, and I think it was a Paul, John, no, no, yeah, Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier one. Um, it's gold, it's like she's got like it's a like gold bodice. It's so beautiful. I smelt it in David Jones the other day and it was divine. So I'd love to get that one. But yes, I love perfume. I always have so many of them on the go and it's so hard to keep buying more because even when they're kept in like a dark place, I don't know. I do think that after some time they do kind of go off and a bit funny. But so that was my perfume haul. So I hope that you enjoyed it. 
And if there's any, like I said just before, if there's any that you want me to try, I'm more than happy to spend my money on it and go and buy them and try them out for you. So let me know down below. But this afternoon, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of packing. I finished all my clients for today. I really need to mop the floor. So I think I'll just get a few snippets here and there of me packing. And I think that'll be it for today's vlog. Like I said, they're all going to be really choppy over the next few weeks just because I'm starting to get ready to go away. And then I'm going to be on a plane for like 24 hours. So I'm not going to be able to upload. But at least I'll have lots of time on the plane to like cut all this shit out of my phone. Because this year, like I said in a few vlogs ago, my phone had a major <laughs> meltdown. But I literally, I think I had like 79,000 and something or other photos and videos. But now that I don't have like my big business anymore, I can probably get rid of half of them. Because I always say to people, if someone ever stole my phone and actually got into it, they would think, what the F is this girl on? Because I just have so many pictures of people's faces, eyebrows, lashes, the most randomest thing ever. So at least, yeah, the 24 hours, if it's not longer than that, I don't know, will give me some time to go through my phone and like, you know, make everything nice and clean again because I need storage to be able to film Europe. But yes, I think that's it for my perfume. So I'll stop blabbering on and I should, actually I'm gonna pour myself a wine. One of my clients yesterday was like, girlfriend, pour yourself a wine and start packing. And hopefully that'll give you the motivation because at the moment, motivation level is at zero. I've got the new Australian, oh, what is that show called? Love Island, Love Island. I've never really been into those types of shows, but because I've been, procrastinating for the last few days i thought i'd start it and it's actually not terrible so i've got it in the on in the background so if i sit on the couch and start watching that i will not do anything so i think i'm gonna pour myself a wine and get into packing also just in my the container at the moment that i've got all my perfumes in look what i found that my mum made me so my mum and dad had a bull mastiff called harvey and he was our dog while we were growing up and he was just so beautiful but one year for my birthday this is moni my dog and harvey obviously she made me a card from them that said happy birthday um dear caitlin happy birthday to you love from your fur babies like oh i die it's so beautiful i actually got another i've got another one up on my bench somewhere which is a picture of a bulldog too my mum always buys the best cards and she always buys me cards from my animals as well like she makes them from my cats too so my parents are fantastic so i've just taken miss money for a walk i'm going to start dinner because i was going to order some pizza but i was like no kate You've got shit at home. Just cook it before you go away so it's not sitting in the fridge or freezer way away. So I'm just boiling some water and I've just got all these beautiful tomatoes that are from the market. So I'm popping them on a tray. I'm going to pop them in the oven and roast them. I've also got some of this beautiful pesto, handmade pesto or homemade. It's all handmade and um, homemade pasta as well from the farmer's markets, which I'm gonna cook up. And then whatever's left over, I'll just give to my parents when they come over tomorrow. So I'm gonna cook all of this, eat it up, and then yes, we are finally getting the suitcase out. So this is my beautiful dinner all done. There's Miss Mabel, and I am still watching Love Island Australia. And hopefully once I finish this, I'll have some motivation to do some packing. So you won't be surprised, but it's like nine o'clock and I haven't done any packing and I'm actually probably not going to. So I'm going to roll this one into tomorrow as well. So I do have a pretty busy day tomorrow to go to the doctor in the morning just to get um, some antibiotic scripts to take overseas with me. And I'm getting my hair done. And I'm doing a client in the afternoon. And my dad's coming over as well. But I also forgot that I found this other perfume um, of mine. It's a Zara one as well. It's the Rose Gourmand one. It is beautiful too. I love this one. This one's very like, it's not your typical rose. It definitely smells like rose, but it's like gummy bear rose. It's delicious. So let's roll this one into tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. 
good morning guys it is the next day so we're definitely rolling this vlog over into the next day so i so i'm actually off to my doctor's appointment now which is at 9 a.m and it's about 7 40. i like to get there early i'm just going to go and get a script of some antibiotics to take overseas with me because last time i went i was so unwell so sick and it's quite hard to communicate exactly what you need while you're over there so i'm going to go and get that and then go to the chemist and pick up a few bits and pieces there's some other things that i might grab while i'm at the shops um so i'll take you along for that and i'm going to get my hair done i really need to wash the floor and then today's the day guys i pulled the suitcase out last night but i haven't actually put anything in it but my dad's coming over tonight because my mum's going out and he's going to pop some things up around my house so while he's doing that on the outside I'm going to be throwing things in in the suitcase on the inside because I think I'd like just to chuck everything in clothes wise and shoes wise that I think I want to take and then at least that'll give me a couple of days before Tuesday to kind of curate everything and go back through and chuck everything out because I have to admit, there was one time when we were coming back from, I think it was through Heathrow, so through London Airport, my suitcase, I shouldn't laugh, but my suitcase was like 36 kilos, which is disgusting. So I'm definitely, and I've got a smaller suitcase this time as well. So I'm definitely gonna try and like condense it down. And oh, just while I've been fiddling around in my car, I forgot to show you this. My gorgeous friend, shout out to my friend Ashley and my friend Naomi, love seeing you guys. Um, went to india and she brought me this gorgeous handmade purse isn't it beautiful it's all like all the embroidery is done by hand as well and then she brought me these cute little earrings for christmas which i think i'm actually going to wear while i'm over there maybe on christmas day because we are going to a like an orchestra concert underneath the eiffel tower so i'm so excited for that but oh i can't like let me try and get them out they're just these gorgeous little like snowmen like look at those aren't they beautiful and i love pearls so can't wait to wear those but anyway let's stop babbling and let's go to our appointments dying at these shoes look how beautiful they are everything's so glittery and sparkly this time of year these pants are so my vibe but where would i wear them and those cute little shoes too I've just been into the chemist so I've got my favorite telescopic mascara again 20 like 26 dollars for this mascara how ridiculous but I mean I keep paying it so whatever um, I pick up my puffers my simple pork puffers I've got some cold and flu I got some antibiotics some deodorant and some dry shampoo 
and then you would have seen in the clip kind of before this I got those two tops from Supre um, just the long ones to take away with me I've been resisting the urge so bad because there's so many good things at the shop at the moment but we all know that I need more clothes like I need a hole in the head so that's it um, we are going to go home I think I would like to mop the floor before I have to go out and get my hair done and have some lunch and then this afternoon I'm gonna make some cupcakes for my mum because it's her birthday tomorrow I did go into Maya and buy her a beautiful card as well so I'll take you along for that and like I said I definitely need to start packing just in case there is anything that I really do need before I go but like I was talking to one of my friends today because I wanted to get these like wet look leggings I had in H&M and they were $35 but she was like just hold out Kate because European fashion has so much more and you can always pick up some over there so that's kind of my idea with it but let's go home have some lunch and mop that floor before we have to drive out again I'm literally so sick of driving <laughs> So I've just been to my beautiful friend Shannon at Vibes Hair Studio to get my hair done. It looks so gorgeous and isn't she so beautiful? Gave me like a little Christmas gift with a little Christmas card, some, I'm assuming they're like coconut rumbles and a little um, thermal shield. So I'm so excited to use that. So thank you my beautiful friend Shannon. My dad's just here. So I'm going to do some cooking, some cleaning and um, I'll see where this night ends up. Oh my goodness, I look crazy. I've just mopped the floor and look at my poor hair. I just got it done. But anyway, um, I've just made my mum's cupcakes, just the base of them. So I'm just going to be popping them on this board so that they can cool down. And I'm going to start making the buttercream soon because I would like to get them all decorated tonight just because I'm going to be busy at work in the morning and then need to drive straight down to see her for the day and go for dinner. So once I've popped all those out, I also think I'm gonna put Love Island Australia on. Like I said, I'm not normally into those things, but one of my friends um, got me onto it and now I am obsessed. So I'm gonna pop that on. I am bringing my suitcase out and we're gonna start throwing some things in. One of my girlfriends is also coming over for a spray tan later. So we're in my shit room. I'm not even gonna show it to you anymore because it's just actually embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my big suitcase out and show you it. I also need to clean up my beauty room for my clients tomorrow, but I'll just turn the camera around so I can show you my suitcase. There she is in all her glory, Moni, of course. Um, so I actually bought a new one because I have had a few suitcases, but I was due for a new one. Um, my other ones have been well-traveled, but I just love this one. Isn't she just beautiful and very fitting for where I'm going? So we're gonna open her up and start doing packing. I think I'll start by putting all of that stuff in, which is the stuff that I did the haul the other day. Okay, I am gonna show you the room, don't be alarmed. Uh, this is my little one, obviously, and it's got my big, oh, my big jacket in it with some gloves and whatnot. So we'll bring her out. You're literally sitting on a packet of toilet paper that one of my girlfriends brought me for Christmas. So sorry, not sorry. But I think it's going to be easier if I put it all on my big dining table so I can kind of see what I have, what I don't have, what I need, all that type of jazz. So if we just gently move all that over. But this is my big, long, new cape, cape, I mean, yeah, cape, coat that I brought from actually TK Maxx. Um, I can't even remember how much it was it's not on the tag but i remember it being something like maybe 129 dollars and then it was on sale down to 90 and then i think when i got up to the oh here it says here oh just kidding um oh so it is it was like originally like worth 129 dollars that makes sense and then tk maxx had it for 80 and then when i got up to the counter i think it was down to like 60 dollars so i was like that's a bargain because it literally I don't want to stand up on the table, but it literally is so long. Like it comes down 
like down past my knees. So I think she'll be good with the hood as well. I think you can, is this the one you can take off? No, I don't know if you can take this one off, but closes up, I can wear everything underneath. It's got pockets, what more could you ask for? So I've got the two black coats now, except the short one and this long one. So I'll take both of these, but I am such a, like with my coats, I love light colors, so like white or beige. So I'll go and get my white one that doesn't fit me anymore. So this is her, she's so beautiful. I've had her for quite a few years though. It's a Lorna Jane one. Um, and this one, the hood, oh, Struggle Street. Um, this one, the hood does come off, but it does fit, but I just don't think it's gonna be comfortable. Obviously, like if you have anything else underneath it. So see, like I can get it on, it just doesn't do up because my boobs have gotten big, but she does fit. But see what I mean? I don't know, I just love like the white Color. So I'm hoping when I get over there, I can get another white one or a beige one. So those two coats are definitely going in and everything that else that's up there. I probably won't show me going through everything and pulling it out. So what I might do is just spend some time pulling everything out that I want and putting it in the suitcase. And then I'll show you kind of how far I get tonight. And I think that'll be it for this vlog because that'll be two days. Um, and then tomorrow will just be a small vlog as well. So I'll probably start doubling up the days just because I'm getting really busy before going away. So tomorrow's my mum's birthday and we're going out for dinner. And I'm doing some bits and pieces on Sunday and I'm working all day Monday, have to drop the animals off at the kennel and then we leave on Tuesday. So things are starting to like be cut very fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of packing, a bit of pulling out and I'll sign off um, once I show you what I've packed so far. So in true Caitlin style, I had to order some Domino's to do the packing. So my go-to order is the cheeseburger, bacon, double bacon cheeseburger, pizza, whatever it is. This Karen Hook is for my mum's cupcakes. Got a Mountain Dew and some garlic bread. So. I've done quite a bit already, so go me. Like I said, I put the hair up in a bun now. It just keeps progressing. But, yep, I'm just going to keep going now until my girlfriend gets here to do her spray tan. Okay, guys, so sorry that you can hear the mixer in the background, but I'm just making mum's buttercream for her cupcakes. It's about 9 o'clock, and I'm going to kind of wrap this up now, I think, because I just want to finish those and then get to bed because I have some clients tomorrow morning. But this is what my suitcase is looking like so far. So this is my pile of pants, so track pants, a pair of jeans. I need to find my other jeans and just some trousers, some singlet tops, some leggings and long sleeve tops here. And then these are all like my jumpery type of things. <laughs> and then I've got my socks, couple of scarves, and then these are all my jammies, um, some other long pants. So, and there's, there's a jacket. I did find a couple of other jackets that I'm thinking of maybe, maybe taking as well. So I have my Kathmandu one there and another Dakuba one there. So, so we'll see what we can fit into the suitcase, but I have a few more boxes that I need to go through probably on Sunday when I get home. So let's wrap this vlog up here. So thank you for watching for day eight and day nine of Vlogmas, I think. And I will see you guys. Oh my gosh, look how dark my under eyes are. I need to get some sleep, but I will see you uh, tomorrow.